Audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Exploring faith and the future. Neil Johnson and Bible teacher, Dr. Camille Majdali. After covering a lot of ground talking about Christian formation of Europe, we've been talking about this past hundred years and two world wars. Well, after the Second World War, Camille, people thought that we could get together and try and solve some of the messiness and those nations going to war against nations within Europe. Uh, What was the solution? Well, after Europe had gone through two blood-filled world wars, the continent is in ruins. People are looking for answers. Many of them were probably disillusioned with the church, and of course it was a very liberalized church, not offering answers and not building faith. So they turned to another means. That other means is let's get together, let's work together, no longer in conflict, but in cooperation. Let's grow rich together, and let's work together to keep the peace. And this togetherness as Europeans, as opposed to being nationals of a country in Europe, is what led to what we call the European Union. The European Union officially came into being in 1993 due to the Maastricht Treaty, But the makings of it, of course, happened in the 50s and then continued on with the European common market and European economic community and so on. The European Union is what I call a good idea, humanly speaking. Work together, cooperate, support each other for the purposes of prosperity and peace. And on top of it, let's have a whole range of human rights, in fact, the most codified system of human rights ever known in history. Now, all that's a good idea. The problem is that, of course, their attitude is they want to create this peaceful, prosperous, and perfect society, and they want to do it without God. Indeed, I think they get an allergic reaction to the notion of God, which basically means then their good idea is reduced to a utopian theory meaning we're going to have this perfect society without God. And, of course, Europe is no stranger to utopian ideas. That's where the Nazis were about. That's what the fascists were about. That's certainly what the communists were about. They wanted to make people happy and prosperous and blessed, and they were going to do so without God. What did we get? We got two world wars. We got genocide. We got human rights abuses. (laughs) We got turmoil and destruction and decay. And it appears... We haven't learned anything. Isn't there a definition of insanity where you keep trying to do the same thing over and over again, hoping the next time it'll be different? That's where it ended up in Europe so far. So the idea of cooperation without God in the picture, given there are biblical precedents, is not likely to be successful. Well, no, it's not. Because unless the Lord builds the house... The psalmist said, they labor in vain that build it. So if God's not in the picture, is destined for ruin. And hence, because Christianity was so much a part of European identity, but now there's a hard case of denial that Christianity had anything to do with Europe, that kind of fantasy and untruth can only lead to failure. Faith and the future with Neil Johnson and Dr. Camille Majdali from Teach All Nations. Find articles, videos and podcasts from Dr. Camille, plus today's and other episodes of Faith in the Future in the Vision app or at vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.